heads up guys this is Christy from 52 Hider 3D with a something a bit different this time um, this is just something I put together a sort of proposal stroke idea that I thought I'd put out there and see what people thought about it now this is a sort of development idea for having a more integrated compositor and sequencer for Blender now I am not a developer, I don't know any developers, this is just me as a user of um, Blender thinking well this would make it easier to use so here's my ideas put together into a little slideshow and see what you think. Um, let's see what we've got currently. Well in the current system we have the node editor being the compositor and the movie clip editor which you will do tracking stuff in and masking etc and we also have the video sequence editor which people keep saying is a fully functional sequencing video editor thingy and you don't need anything else well mm, I've tried it and it's not I can't get it to work as well as other things so let's have a look first at the node editor it's got brilliant effects and compositing tools because of the the node based effects but once you've kind of made something it's not very easy to export it or do anything you've kind of got to run through a whole rendering render layer process which if you're not actually using the uh, if you're not actually using the mesh the 3d scene can be a bit fiddly um, so that's got some really good bits. Uh, the movie clip editor, it's got all the tracking tools and tools for masking, which are really useful. Um, but it could, but it also doesn't have anything for sort of uh, the normal sequence sequencer tools. So like the in and out, and um, it's not very easy to manipulate the video. You kind of have to get the video done first and then track it. And we also have the video sequence editor. Now this has very basic sequencing tools. You can move strips around. You've got lots of tracks um, to work with but um, if you import things of different frame rates they start um, they, it doesn't automatically change them. Uh, audio sync isn't always great there's no sort of ripple edit and slip slide tools nothing like that there's no easy export from it so and it also doesn't have very good effects if you want to create an effect you kind of have to create another video and then re-import it and it just doesn't work great in my opinion anyway I know a lot of people like it and and I know there is going to be a video sequence editor rewrite in a fairly uh, near release, I think. But anyway, um, let's move on to the next slide. So, how can we improve this? Um, and again, I'm not having a developer bash here because I know the developers have been working a lot on lots of different things and. Um, and they can't do everything but this is just again my, some of my ideas so we could ha how can we improve the sort of visual effects workflow well we could have better integration between the compositor and the sequencer so more like Adobe After Effects you can put I haven't used After Effects much but when I have used it what you can do is you seem to be able to put effects straight onto it, it's kind of a cross between the two really the b between the node editor and the sequence editor you have the sequence in which you can overlay different videos and edit them and you can also then add lots of complicated effects onto them um, something I thought would be really helpful is support for multiple compositions so currently you have sort of one node setup per scene and when you render you get that particular node setup. Um, if you could have 
more than one node set up per scene so you could just quickly from a drop down menu choose which one to render each time I think that would help a lot of people not just visual effects compositors um, obviously we could have better editing tools on the video sequence editor uh, like the ripple edit, slip, slide, razor tool etc now I haven't used the video sequence editor very much so some of these might be there already I just haven't managed to find them yet um, so sorry if uh, I'm putting things there that are actually already there um, we could also have merging of image strips and image data blocks and movie strips and movie clip data blocks so all the clips are available everywhere so currently if you load a strip into the video sequence editor it's not the same sort of thing as you would load into the movie clip editor um, or it isn't always and the same with an image strip and image data blocks they're not they're not sort of um, cross compatible so if you bring an image into the video sequence editor it's not instantly available in the UV image editor as a movie data block um, so that's just uh, making everything easier to use and the last idea I had was well, having node based effects on the video sequence editor because we currently have effects strips which there aren't very many of them, they're a bit cumbersome um, just not very easy to use and if we could again sort of uh, use the power of the node editors and the compositor on the video sequence editor I think that would very much improve the workflow and just make things you could do more flexible effects on the video sequence editor so let's have a look at some quick mock-ups I made um, on Photoshop these are obviously not what they'd actually look like this is just a vague idea so on the node editor you obviously have your your render layer here and the comp composition output or what is currently called the composite node the idea is you would have a drop down box on the bar at the bottom where you could select a particular node chain so this one will probably be called the default and you wouldn't be able to edit one but you could just add a new one call it something you could be able to um, add as many nodes as you want as a, a string and you could render that but then if you ever wanted to go back to the default you could just click the drop down box click default and you'd be that back there and you could have as many of these as you want so um, let's say I don't know you wanted uh, you were doing a scene and you wanted two different you wanted one with um, I don't know you wanted one with certain effects and one with different effects and instead of having to sort of create two scenes or having to create complicated node chains with switches you could just create two compositions and easily flip between them um, on the render panel this would also you'd have to make a few changes to the render panel so you would have now a composition drop down box to choose which actual composition you would to render each time you render uh, so there'd just be a nice drop down box there from which you could get all the um, the compositions um, I thought it'd be a good idea to also split up the render buttons because currently if you want to render if you have something on the sequen on the sequencer and you don't want to render it you have to go all the way down to the bottom to the post processing tab and uh, uncheck sequencer and then go back and render it and then you have to recheck it when you go to render the sequence so I thought instead of um, instead of having to do that you could have two sets of render buttons you could have the render composition um, where it renders the scene with all the nodes or if you check default just with the standard render layer to composite which doesn't really do anything um, so one and you can have the the single frame and all frames which are currently the 
um, render and animation um, buttons so you've got two buttons under there and yeah that would just render the scene without any that would be kind of like the normal render button if you've unchecked sequence and then you could also have the render sequence buttons which completely ignore the scene and go in and render what you can get on the video sequence editor or what you put on the video sequence ed editor and again you could have a single frame and all frames so the single frame but obviously render one still frame and all frames would render uh, an animation out to an image sequence or a video file. Uh, so that's just my ideas on that. Let's have a look at the sequencer. Currently the I find the sequencer is a bit of a it's not set up all that greatly. Um, I don't think anyway. Um, so this is how we could do it. You could have your video tracks here uh, which you currently have and the video preview window there. Um, but I thought you could also put the movie clip editor here and when you select a uh, a clip on the um, on the timeline that would appear in the movie clip editor and you could use the movie clip editor to set your in and out points like you can on Premiere and uh, you can also then would able be able to do tracking directly from the sequence editor um, so that was my idea for that. Um, so you've got multiple tracks. You can still import a composition, like you can import a render layer currently, or a scene. I think you can uh, put a scene onto the video sequence editor. So you could now just do the same thing, but you can have different compositions. I would put somewhere just the, um, the properties panel with the render details, um, because means you don't have to keep going back out to uh, the um, to the default view when you want to render something. Um, my last idea, which is possibly the most complicated, is when you go to you can add an effect to a video clip and you can then the movie clip editor will change into the node editor and you can apply node based effects to that clip. I thought maybe you could also have some presets or be able to save presets so if you wanted a um, a change brightness you could just have a would be a the video clip there and then get going into uh, uh, whatever the uh, relevant node would be I don't know what it is, it's probably a um, color curves node or an RGB curves node and then that would go out to this which would be sort of the the output node and then that would go straight onto there um, and I think that's kind of just about it um, just some quick ideas as to what I'd like to see on the sequencer um, feel free to yeah if you like the idea you can of course share it retweet it etc and uh, see if you can actually get it to get it um, developed I doubt really it'll ever get developed but um, it's a nice idea and it's uh, used up my Sunday morning um, so yeah if you have any more ideas about this feel free to comment below this video or send me a message on Facebook or tweet me at 52hider3d um, yeah so the more shares we get the uh, the better the more people see this and of course if you don't like this idea at all you can also tweet me at 52hider3d 